Hello, welcome back everybody. Tonight I want to go over when you import a model that's a FBX and the materials aren't there in Unity, why and how do we fix that? So a lot of times, you know, in Unity with the game camps, we make the models in Magical Voxel because it's real easy. You know, you don't have to know a lot about 3D modeling. You just kind of keep stacking little voxels on top of each other. And that works, but then sometimes, you know, for the fun of it, I want to see a model that looks even better, like this guy here, this old man. So Mixamo.com is a place where you can get models and animations. Um, and here, say I want to use this old man in my game. So what I could do is I could download the old man here. Uh, here he is. Let me say download this guy. And I make sure I pick FBX for Unity. And I'm going to say with the skin. You know, that's the whole all the data and I'll say download I'll just put it for now on my desk desktop and I'll put it in a folder so I'll just call it old man and then inside the folder I'll put the model okay and this is the animation of him searching his pockets so that's one animation right there that I've put in the old man folder right here I could also now search for some other animations if I was going to use them again this could be his idle animation, but let's have a walk animation for him to see him moving. And we got a couple here. Um, this is really like if he's a mean old man. This one is, that's kind of better. And I'm going to use the in place mode. So I'm going to do the motion in the game myself. So I'll say I'll download this. So the first model, I had the skin. So this one to save, you know, space on my hard drive, I'm going to download this one without the skin. And I'll put it in the old man folder on my desktop too. So here we are. It still remembers the last place I was. And I'll just save this walking animation there. So now he has a walking animation and an idle animation. Now we're going to bring up Unity. And here I have a project in Unity that I that I started where I just have a floor. So I'm going to take the old man folder here and drag and drop it into my Unity Assets folder. All right, so we click on the FBX model. You can see it says FBX right here. And on the Materials tab, first let me extract the textures. And I'll extract it by default. It's the same folder. So you should see them pop up here in the same folder in my assets window bam and that did it now there's a little window here that popped up that unity could fix an error so yeah let's fix that error whatever that is there we go i guess it had to fix the normals now we have the boss the old man and you can see he has his colors so let me drag and drop the old man here onto this big land and double click to zoom in on him see there he is now he has an animator, so he needs an animation controller to control his animation. So here in the old man folder, I'm just going to create an animation controller. And I'll call it, let's see, the file model is called the boss. So I'll just call this the same name since it's for that model. So let me click back on him. And now with a controller, I can drag and drop the controller there. So what the animation controller does is it says which animation is going to play. So let me click on the controller and I could, it opens up this window here. I need to see both windows at the same time. So I'm going to drag the animator window and put it right there. When you drag a window, make sure you select the title here, the title of it, and then you could drag it. So now I have two windows showing. And in here I could zoom in and out with the mouse wheel. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take, this actually has an animation on it, the idle animation, where he's searching his pockets. So I'm going to drag that one in first, and that's going to be his default animation that's going to play. So let's press play and see what happens. And come on. There we go. The camera's a little off. Let me stop it. Let's set the camera to view him a little closer, you know, so we could see him better, like right there. So I'll select the camera and press con um, Control Shift F, 
and you can see that the camera view now matches my scene. Okay, I'm going to go back and select them. Let me save that. Now if I press play, we should be zoomed in enough, and hopefully I expect the animation to play for searching the pockets. And yeah, it is. He's come to life and he's searching his pockets. And it played one time. You see this blue line, and then it stopped. Oh, we could fix that. Let's pick the animation, which is also the model. Go on the animation tab, and there should be something here to loop the animation. There, loop and apply. So we want the idle animation to loop. And this other thing here that we downloaded is the boss walking FBX. This was the skin. Um, this is without the skin, so it's just the data for the animation. I'm going to loop this walking animation also. Apply. And then I'm going to drag and drop the walking animation in here. So the animation controller controls which animation is playing. So when we press play on the game, it comes in here and presses the searching pockets animation. And then we can make a transition to play the walking animation. When is it going to go to the walking animation? If I click on this, there could be a condition as to when. So I'm going to add a parameter here. It's going to be a boolean, a bool, and I'll name it um, walk. So when I check this box, it'll play the walking animation. All I have to do here is first select the transition and then add to that transition walk equals true and that's when I'll do walking. So if walk is true it's going to walk and then we probably also want to stop him from walking so we'll say make transition back and over here we'll do that when walk is false. Okay, now there's this other checkbox here called has exit time. As you can see, animations, they have a length, but I want it to switch the animation right when I click on the Boolean variable to change the value. So over here, he's searching his pockets. Don't wait for the animation to finish. And then over here, when it goes back to searching the pockets from walking, don't wait for the animation to finish. Now let me press play. And without any code, I should be able to control what animation is playing for this old man. So here he is, and he's playing the searching the pockets animation. You can see the blue line. Now anywhere the blue line is, I press walk, and immediately it goes and plays the walk animation. And he has a little swag. And then anywhere the blue line is, if I just unclick, it'll, he will go back to searching his pockets. I forgot something. Where did I leave it? Back in the house? I don't know. So that's cool. That's how we get, oops, stop. <laughs> I just press play again. So knowing that we could control the animations with this parameter here, but we want to do that when we're playing the game, I am going to make a script that I'm going to put on the old man. Okay, and the old man is actually, we'll just call this the player script since we're controlling him. And I'll make it with a capital P. Enter. Now open up in Visual Studio, and here's a script. Let me just gut this middle part out and add my own variables. So I'm going to have private void update on the update function, which runs every frame of the game. I'm going to do a thing where I am going to see if you press a button to press to play run the run animation or not. So mm, we're going to need a pointer to, let's see what this, the boss here, the old man, we need a pointer to this animator controller so we could actually control the variable. So the animator controller, we need a pointer to it. So let's go back to Visual Studio and let's make a variable anim equals null. And then we're going to put in the start function. We're going to initialize that private void start anim equals this dot get component and the component that we need to get is the animator. Spell, Omar, spell. Oh, good thing it shows here in the in, in this window. Okay, now we have a pointer to the animator. And now here in the update function, if um, input.get key down, what key are we going to do to do the um, walking? I'll say that you press the W key, key code dot w there you go 
If you press W, then we're going to set the anim. We're going to set the boolean that we made a variable. And what do we call that variable? We called it walk. We're going to set it to true. Okay. Um, so that will do the walk animation. If input dot get key down key code dot i for idle. Okay. We could always change the controls if we want later. So if you press the I button, then we'll set anim dot set bool of walk to false. All right. So now we could control from a script the two animations. Let's just make sure we put the script on the player now. So I have him selected. Let me drag and drop the script onto the, the actual control there and let's press play. All it's going to do is switch the animations from a script. I press play and okay, it's doing the search as pockets. Now if I press W, it goes and does the walk. And if I press I, it does the idle. Walk, idle, walk, idle. All right, so basically the goal of this tutorial was just to show you how to get the FBX textures out. So that was done. Remember, it was just to, you grab the FBX file, and on the materials, you say extract textures first, and then extract materials second, if you have to. Thank you. Good night.